Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. So in previous couple of videos, we learned about position embeddings and uh, how it is uh, important to have them. In this video, we will uh, learn about another very important component, uh, which is uh, very much required uh, to work the transformer model properly, uh, which is called masking. So for batch processing, uh, uh, it is uh, necessary to have all the input vectors of the fixed length and uh, that's where masking is required. So in, in case of uh, batch input, it is uh, not necessarily that um, all the inputs would be of the same uh, length. So we need to pad some of them or we need to truncate some of them. So in case of, let us say, we have a uh, max length, which is fixed, we need to truncate some of the input if they are greater than the max sequence length. And we need to add a padding token if they are less than a max sequence length. And why they are uh, especially required for transformer model? The main thing is like if we have the padded tokens and we don't have a, a masking mechanism to handle the handle the uh, added padded tokens, they will contribute to towards computing the attention scores, which is not correct. So we use uh, masking, especially the attention masking, to, to avoid these padded token. Uh, to contributing towards computing attention scores as well as uh, in in coming slides we will see like uh, also we don't want uh, these padded tokens to contribute towards generating the target tokens okay so these are the main reasons why it is uh, really crucial to have the masking mechanism in place to to avoid these kind of scenarios and for max sequence length we could have two uh, situations one, we fix the max sequence length, which is hard coded, and that's the case here. So we say uh, we fix max sequence length eight, and everything is greater than that, we uh, truncate it, and everything less than that, we add a padded token. So here you can see here we have two input samples, and then first one is uh, of length seven, uh, of length six, and uh, the second one is of length uh, five and we added two padded token which is uh, we are saying pad token is uh, having id zero and we added two zeros here and three zeros here okay and then in case of uh, generating mass we simply say how many pads are added in this case we added two of them so we have two ones and in this case we added three of zeros that's why we have three ones this is the case where we have a fixed max sequence length okay and it will be true for all the data set that we have the second case is a uh, in batch uh, max sequence length so we generate a batch let us say in this case we generated uh, two samples and one of them is of sequence length 6 and another one is length of uh, 5 and then we decide what would be the max sequence length for this batch so the max sequence length is uh, decided dynamically given the batch so in this case, the max sequence length is uh, six. So the max sequence length for this batch would be six. And then accordingly, we only add, uh, uh, we only add uh, pad tokens to those uh, where it is necessary. And then in this case, we don't need the truncation mechanism, okay? And other sophisticated one would be like, we further have the max sequence length, which will be global if anything goes Beyond that, we truncate it. That is mainly needed to uh, avoid the out of memory error because if you have sequence length, say 512 or, or more than that, so all of them would be uh, padded accordingly. And then uh, probably the model, if it is say a large model that will go out of memory. So in that case, to avoid that, we uh, generally have a, a global uh, max sequence length that is kind of uh, used to uh avoid this kind of errors okay and if we look at like how it is uh, uh it is uh, applied on uh, attention score so for example here you can say like uh, we have input uh, as usual as we have seen uh, in previous slide uh, and we have the mask uh, as uh, as we are saying like we are using max sequence length as a global okay so for single head uh 
the the attention score generated for the for this input batch would be 2 cross 8 cross 8 okay because we have eight tokens or eight input uh, uh, words in that sense and for each word we generate uh, one score okay so it will be 8 cross 8 so because each word will attend each other word okay so it will generate 2 cross 8 cross 8 uh, attention score and then the attention mask uh, so in this case if you look at carefully it is uh, 2 cross 8 and it won't uh, work so we need to add another dimension in between so that uh, attention mask would be broadcastable okay so in this case we added this added extra dimension so that now this mask would broadcast to 8 cross 8 metric okay and for multi head uh, for example if you have four head the attention score would be 2 cross 4 cross 8 cross 8 and then we need another dimension so that this will further broadcast okay as you can see here i added uh, uh, another dimension here to make it broadcastable to this 8 cross 8 matrix that is there at the end as a attention score for each uh, head okay for example if you look at um, attention score for just one input it will broadcast something like this okay and this is for single a single head okay so this will be like uh, for first row second row third row fourth row all of them are same so in this case the single mask is broadcasted for all the all the rows are for the whole uh, attention score matrix for that input and then if you have multi head it will further broadcast for each head okay so this will further broadcast if you have let us say four heads the same will be applied for uh, this input for different heads okay so if you have four heads it will generate like uh, eight cross eight uh, matrix attention score for four heads and then this matrix will broadcast for that okay and for this it will generate another uh, uh, another um, masking uh, matrix which will be like uh, three ones this will this column will also be all ones and then when we apply it it will apply for each head as well okay so if it is not clear uh, don't worry we will have uh, it very uh, detailed uh, when we implement it so that will make it further clear okay and the next case is subsequent masking or look head mask. So this is mainly needed for decoder and uh, more specifically in sequence to sequence tasks like machine translation. So this is uh, mainly required to prevent the attention mechanism uh, cheating in decoder when it is training. So during the training it has access to the complete sequence whereas during inference it can only access to what has already been generated. So using subsequent masking we avoid this difference and train the transformer model such that it will consume one token at a time and it will simply make the model uh, similar as it will be used during the inference okay so we simply make the training uh, similar as it will be used during the inference using subsequent masking okay and how it is done so for example if we consider the same input and we have the attention mask are the input patterns like this so for single head it will generate attention score like 2 cross 8 cross 8 and the attention mask would be 2 cross 8 cross 8 so in this case we actually generate a proper um, mask it won't be broadcasted okay for single head for multi head it will be broadcasted uh, because we generate mask which will be like for 2 cross 8 cross 8 whereas uh, uh, in in case of uh, in case of simple masking we generate like 2 cross 1 cross 8 okay that's what the difference and in case of multi head attention we will have attention score like 2 cross number of heads like 2 cross 4 cross uh, number of tokens like 8 cross 8 here okay and the attention mask in this case we add another uh, dimension here uh, to make it broadcastable to these many uh, matrices okay as many heads we have okay so in summary when we apply masking on uh, uh, multi headed case it will broadcast whereas in single head it won't need because we already have the full mask available okay 
So we will be using mast fill, which uh, I already created a detailed video on that. I will add a link to that in the description. So first you need to look at that so that it will be easier when uh, we will start implementing it. And to give you an example of subsequent mask is simply like for this input, it will look like this. So in this case, only first token is consumed. In this case, the first and second is consumed. In this case, first, second, third is consumed and so on. Okay. So these, these uh, light blue are simply uh, subsequent masks, which are actually uh, enabling one token at a time. Okay. For last two rows, it will be the same because all the tokens are redundant and we don't want to attend the mask token. Okay. And this will be what we generate for a single head. Okay. And in case of multi head, it will further broadcast for each head for that input. Okay. And still, if it is not clear when we will uh, implement it, it should be very much clear. Okay. So don't worry about that as well. Um, so in this video, we will stop here. In the next video, we will start learning about how to implement, first of all, like how we generate the mask. And then simply uh, we will learn like how to apply it uh, uh, in attention module on attention scores. Okay. So thanks for watching. Bye for now. Take care. See you in the next.